Hello and welcome back to Concert Critiques in Cars with Emily. So this show was definitely interesting for a couple reasons. So this show was originally supposed to happen um, this past May and the band couldn't get visas to come over so they had to reschedule it to tonight. And so part of me is bummed because I would have been at the Taking Back Sunday show for night two. And um, so that's one thing that definitely made the show interesting and, and I'll get to the other one. Um, a little bit later so anyway the show was circle waves was the headliner and then a band called robot jurassic was the opener um and it was at dc9 so i like forget just how small and intimate that venue is so that was kind of a cool touch and but then also like a little bit disappointing because I want this band to be huge here so they come back and they play a lot of shows and they keep making new music and stuff like that. So lots of like, like roller coaster for sure. Like happy about certain things and then like weirdly the same thing makes me also sad. Um, but so let's get into the bands. So also getting there was super easy no traffic it was great <laughs> okay um so I really liked the um I really liked a lot of robot Jurassic they definitely overall had like a lot of different sounds within one song so that definitely um made it really like a fun show to watch because it was like you thought one song was over and then you're like oh no wait they're going back to the beginning and you're like hearing a similar sound from the beginning and you're like oh wait that was a whole different song so I actually kind of liked that I liked that there was a lot of variety in every song um so yeah they had like a lot of a good instrumental and, and a lot of it was like just instrumental there were some lyrics and every song had lyrics in it but there were definitely more instrumental parts than um like lyrical parts and so the lyrics were super intriguing too so I really just liked them overall I definitely um am planning to check them out um in particular things that really stuck out were um in the third song the drummer like totally stole the show and I, that doesn't really happen often i personally don't necessarily pay attention to percussion that much unless it's very unique and so the fact that i was like oh gosh this is like really good percussion um so that was cool i really liked that um that that had grabbed my attention in the third song um the fourth song was probably the most different song like it started one way and then kind of went a totally different direction and so I really liked that song a lot. That was probably the highlight for me, just because it was so different. Like there were parts that I didn't necessarily love in that song, but just overall, it was just really cool to see like all the different sections of that song and kind of how it was put together. So I really liked that. And then um, I really loved the lyrics at the end of the sixth song. I So good. I really, really liked that. That was definitely another highlight of their set for me for sure. Um, really enjoy those lyrics and um, yeah just like a lot of instruments and, and just really cool sounds that were kind of put together into the same song and it made it sound really different so so yeah I really like that set thought it was good definitely gonna check them out um, to hear the recorded version but I have a feeling this is like one of those bands where the live version might be like almost better so it'll be interesting to see kind of what happens with that um, but yeah I really like their set overall and let's get into circle waves so the reason I was upset that they didn't come in May was because they had recently just released their newer album and I had a feeling what listen I it's really hard to tell right because they're a band from the UK and so they have an older album with popular songs that people from the US would know and so obviously they were going to play those songs but tonight I felt like overall they didn't really play a lot off their new album. And so was that because they would have played more, but now their album's like a little bit older. So it's not like a new album. And like, even at one point he was like, this is a newer song. And he was like, well, I mean, we like came out with the album like this year, but so I would have loved to see if their set list was any different if they had come in May. Um, versus waiting until, you know, six, seven months later to come in November. So that was my only, like, issue, I would say, was that I feel like they didn't really play a lot of new songs. They played a lot of older songs, which is great. 
Unfortunately, their new album is so good that I really didn't take the time to listen to a lot of their older stuff. I definitely knew some of the older songs, but not as much as I wished that I would have, or I wish they would have just played newer songs. Um, so they started with Wake Up, which I definitely had heard before. Um, and But of course, it wasn't really a song that I knew that well, and the lyrics were really hard to hear at certain points. Um, so that was a little bit frustrating for sure. And, um, and, you know, again, like I'd heard the song before, but really there were just, when all the instruments were playing at once, it was really hard to understand the music. And then they their second song was Fossils. And again, that's another song that I didn't really know. But at least this time, the um, lead singer was asking the sound guy. He was pointing to the mic and then pointing up. So that was a good thing. I'm glad that he did that because that definitely then made a difference. Then the third song was Movies. And that was just so good. So, like, I loved it. It was really fun to see live. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of, like, the feeling I got when they played Movies was kind of what I was hoping the whole show would be, like, basically just, like, one fantastic song after the other that I knew very well um and obviously it wasn't like that as the first two songs were songs I didn't really know that well the fourth one was get away and um and yeah so that was again a song I don't really know that well um but he did ask the crowd to clap at the beginning so that was like just a fun way to get the crowd involved for sure um and then so for the fifth song they had to set up a keyboard and it was kind of like at first they weren't really saying anything and so this is like where you definitely need a story about either coming to the united states like your travel also i know that they're from um the uk so maybe they don't like know that it's veterans day here but could have said something about like did you guys explore dc did you you know do something unique today because of veterans day and he kept saying like thanks for coming out on a monday thanks for coming out on a monday i think people were like we had off today like this is not that big of a deal so i just think that that was like an interesting like cultural difference just overall throughout the show it was like do you realize that like none of us went to work today or none of us had school today or had a half day or something like i don't know it just definitely um was interesting uh unless you were a teacher who had um parent teacher conferences in which case sorry it was a long Monday and the fact that you were there was amazing um but yeah so anyway <laughs> sorry so they set up the keyboard and again it was like awkward chatter but then like towards the end they kind of explained like yeah we like rent these keyboards and they're expensive and we only use it for one song and so that was like cool that they kind of explained something and definitely had a bit better of um like a banter at that point and um then they played times won't change me and that was just so fantastic the keyboard definitely made that song so so great really fun to see and again it was a newer song off their newer album and so i loved it it was really fantastic um after that they actually like took the piano away again so that was um you know pretty funny that they like literally he said one song he really meant one song and um then they played a song called stuck which i didn't know um but i really really enjoyed it and um and again, he had asked for the mic to be louder at this point a couple times, and it definitely was effective, and I could hear the lyrics, so I really liked Stuck, and definitely am going to add that to many a playlist, because I really, really liked it. And, um, then they played Sorry I'm Yours, and I love that song, it's my favorite song of theirs, I was so glad they played it, and I, I was kind of hoping they would, I, I want to say they made a video for it, so I kind of knew it was, like, on their top of, from that album, but, um, but yeah, definitely uh, the highlight of the show. So great. The only thing I wish is they would have changed it a little bit. It was basically just listening to the song on super loud and super like energizing, which is great and I love. But, you know, just a held note, saying a different word or saying a word differently would have been awesome. But again, cannot complain. Really, I loved it. It was great. Again, highlight of the show, especially when I don't know as many songs. It was really, really great to see that song in particular. So glad they played it. Wish it was at the end, but again, can't really complain. So overall, it was really awesome. And I really, really loved that they played that song. Um, after that, they played Stuck in My Teeth. Super obsessed with these lyrics. So going to listen to this song 
digitally. Like, loved the lyrics. Had never heard the song before. So pumped that they played it. And again, it was, like, right after that high from uh, Sorry I'm Yours. So that was really great. And really loved it. <laughs> so that was a good follow-up, especially for me who didn't know that song, but it still like really was a great follow-up. Then they played Lost It, and I really was not a huge fan of it at the beginning, but then just like watching the band really enjoy playing that song. Like at one point in the middle, they had to do like a count one, two, three, and he was like one, two, and he was like three, and it was just like he clearly was enjoying himself, and so that made that song fantastic really really great so I really actually ended up liking that song a lot and I'm so glad that that happened because you know that would have been the low and the beginning of the song was definitely the low for me in their set up to this point um and so yeah so I'm glad that it really changed my opinion just like that so that was pretty cool and then they played Survivor, which is not a song from their album that I would have picked, but I'm glad they played it because I genuinely was, I was thinking about it this morning while I was running and I was like, man, I was like, ah, like, I kind of don't want them to play the song because it's not my favorite, but I also kind of want to hear it just because I want to hear it live. So good. Like, just so good live. I really was glad that they played it and it's just such a good song to rock out to. And it, and, you know, it kind of has like a slower verse and then like gets into the chorus so good though like just so fantastic live so i'm actually really glad they played that song and again i i really do wish they would have played motorcade which is my like second well um, is another one of the songs that i really like off the album and then also passport why didn't they play that song like so many good songs on their new album i wish they had played um after that they played goodbye and so he had to switch his guitar in the middle of like singing the song so definitely some lyrics he was like singing with the guitar kind of strap going over his head um so I think something was wrong and then because even at the end of that song they switched back guitars and he said oh yeah we do that all the time in every show we switch guitars like that so that was definitely something must have happened but again seamless transition only missed like one or two words in the entire uh song so that was impressive so so yeah that was definitely um an interesting an interesting thing that happened and, and I wonder what went wrong I, I couldn't really see but um but yeah, so I'm glad that they were able to like handle that and they got it back on track. So that was pretty good. And again, it was super seamless. I didn't even really, I was like, wait, is this supposed to be on purpose? But it definitely was not. Um, and then after that, they played Fire That Burns. And I, again, did not know this song, but I loved the, um, the guitar during the pre-chorus was like just super fantastic so so good really really loved the guitar and the pre-chorus and um then at like one point during that song he told us to put our hands up so we all put our hands up but then he came to the front of the stage and was like sing with me and it was like wait I really don't think we can do both like we either have our hands up and are clapping or we're singing with you we ended up singing with you but I just thought that was like kind of a funny like almost like miscommunication so I just enjoyed that. And again, like I genuinely think the band was having a really good time. So that definitely makes it more fun when you can kind of tell that they're just enjoying the show. So I hope that they did enjoy the show. And I hope DC is now on their list of like, okay, we can come back here. People like really enjoyed our show and we really enjoyed it, the show for them. So, so yeah. Um, then after that, they played um, Way We Say Goodbye, which is like, probably the slowest song that they played in their set like overall from start to finish and man it was so good but again it was from their newer album and I just knew it and I loved it and I'm really glad they played that song again wish it was either Motorcade or Passports but that's fine I mean definitely a good choice really liked hearing it and then they ended with their biggest hit which was um T-shirt weather so that was just like a super fun song um you know they had the crowd repeat the bridge she's like repeat after me and so that was again just like a good way to get the crowd involved with the show and I really feel like I'm not explaining it well but he really like the lead singer like everyone in the band just seemed to be having a good time especially the lead singer he would like just kind of shuffle around the stage and, and things like that so I, I think hopefully he was actually enjoying himself and not just putting on a show but um but yeah, so scores. Um, interesting opening act for sure. Really liked a lot of the instrumental part and I thought the lyrics were really interesting. Definitely couldn't hear some of the lyrics sometimes and um, 
you know, overall just didn't really, it wasn't familiar with the music, so it's not going to be like, yeah, so I don't know, just like didn't really know it, and there were definitely some parts that I didn't enjoy, but then the problem was their songs were so different throughout the song, so it was hard to say like, well, this song was not the song I enjoyed, it was like, well, this part of the song was something that I wasn't a fan of, but then when they started singing, it was awesome, or then when they changed it to the bridge, it was so cool. Um, so yeah, so overall, definitely an interesting set. Definitely gonna check them out. Um, and then for Circa Waves, fantastic set, really energetic. Again, I think the band and especially the lead singer really like was seemed genuinely to have a good time. Um, my only personal problem is that they didn't play more off of their newer album. I really wish they would have played Motorcade and Passports. I know I keep saying that over and over and over again, but it's because I really wanted them to play those two songs. Um, so glad they played Sorry I'm Yours. If they hadn't played Sorry I'm Yours, I would, the score would be way lower because that is definitely my favorite of the album, favorite of theirs overall. Um, I mean, some of the songs that I didn't know were super ear catching, loved a lot of it. There were definitely a couple songs that I didn't know that I either couldn't hear the lyrics to or just like, mm, I mean, it's good. It's just not, sorry if you're as good. But, um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to give this show an, I think I'm going to give this an 8.5, 8.5. Again, wish there would have been a little more songs off the newer album than I had known. And the opener, again, was good, but not necessarily, like, super fantastic because I didn't know them. Maybe if I listened to them, I would have felt differently. But again, great sets. Both of them had really great sets, and I really enjoyed a lot of it. That's why I think an 8.5 is really fair. And, um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Did I give it too high of a score, too low of a score? Were you there? Do you want to go? Have you never heard of Circle Waves or um, Robot Jurassic? But yeah, so let me know, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.